So you think you might have ADHD? Well, here's three signs that you might actually have ADHD. Before we get into this, make sure you check the comments for a free ADHD online test. Let's go. Typically, you just can't ever sit still. This is mainly because of your sensory overload. You're also late all the time. Yeah, your distraction just creeps in and it deviates you from your focus. I know, it sucks. And you have frequent anger outbursts. This is just because ADHD heightens emotions and it become a lot more harder to control those emotions. Make sure you hit follow if you learned something about ADHD. People think having ADHD just means you can't focus, but it's so much more than that. Here are nine signs that you may have ADHD and we're gonna remember them with the acronym FAST MINDS. F is for forgetful. Do you forget what people have told you or where you put things? Do you need reminders for everyday things or do you miss appointments? A is for achieving below potential. Do you feel like you should be getting better grades in school or you should be farther ahead in your career? S stands for stuck in a rut. Are you having a hard time moving ahead in your life? Are you constantly playing catch up instead of living life how you want to? T is for time challenged. Are you often late? Mm -hmm. Do you underestimate the amount of time things actually take? M stands for motivationally challenged. Are you a procrastinator or do things last minute? Do you wait for the pressure of a deadline to get things done? I stands for impulsive. Do you do things without anticipating the consequences? Do you blurt things out in conversation? By the way, if you're still with me on this video, good job. N stands for novelty seeking. Are you often bored? Do you say yes to new obligations when you're already too busy? D stands for distractible. Do sights, sounds, thoughts, or lower priority activities distract you from what you should be doing? And finally, S is for scattered. Are things messy in your personal space? Is there chaos in your desk, house, or car? If any of these things sound familiar, you might have ADHD, and I'd highly recommend to check out the book, Fast Minds, How to Thrive If You Have ADHD. And of course, follow me for more. Signs of neurodivergence. You lose things 75% more often than your peers. You repeat words or noises or accents frequently. You got really, really good grades even though you worked half as hard as everybody else or you got really, really bad grades even though you worked twice as hard as everybody else. You're constantly apologizing for forgetting but you actually didn't forget. You knew the thing was coming, you watched the thing pass you by and you were powerless to do anything about the thing at all. Now remember, most people experience some of these things, but neurodivergent people experience them very, very often. Hello, this is the ADHD doctor, and today I'm gonna be doing a few tests to see if you might have ADHD, okay? So I'm gonna need you to focus on me, follow my instructions, and don't zone out. Okay, let's go. Okay, pay attention on my melody. I am gonna show you things on my background, and you have to look at it, okay? Sounds good. All right. Look at the Hello Kitty. Now look at the cinema roll. Look at the Hello Kitty. Look at the avocado. Look at Jigglypuff. Look at Isabel. Look at Tom Nook. Look at the avocado. Look at Dobie. Look at Hedwig. Look at Dobie. Look at Harry Potter. Look at the avocado. Look at Jigglypuff. Look at Blathers. Look at the Gizmo. Look at Gizmo. He's so cute. Don't get distracted. Look at Lana Del Rey. Look at like Taylor Swift. Look at Lana Del Rey. Look at Frida Kahlo. Look at Lana Del Rey. Look at Taylor Swift. Look at the pineapple. Look at the piggy. Look at Karomi. Look at the rainbow. Look at the cherries. Look at me. Excellent job. We're gonna count how many butterflies do you see here, okay? Keep focus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna need you to look at my eyes. I'll look at my nose. Look at my eyes. Look at my nose. Look at my earrings. From Jennifer's body. Look at my nose, look at my eyes, look at my butterflies, look at my nose, look at my mouth. Good. I'm gonna enunciate a number, okay? You have to tell me what number I enunciated, okay? Here's the number. One number. 
remember that I said. Okay, very good. Next test. I have two puffs. One is pink and one is lilac. I'm going to need you to choose one. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to need you to follow the one that you chose. Keep focused. Follow it. Don't look at my plushies behind me. Don't look at the cherries. Keep looking at the puff that you chose. Don't look at Taylor Swift or at Hedwig. Don't look at Gizmo. Okay, keep looking at it. Three, two, one. Was it the pink one? Okay, you did so good. Um, more tests are needed. I will let you know next week what are the next tests are going to be. But for now, you're all set to go. Thank you so much and have a good week. How the hell do you know if you have ADHD? There's two ways you can find out. Number one, go to a GP, get referred to a psychiatrist. It's a lot easier in Australia compared to other countries. The UK's waiting lies is f And number two, you can do an online test. You can check out this link right here in this video and see for yourself. Hope it's helped. And make sure you follow me to hear the real truth about ADHD on here. Here are five signs you may have ADHD. Number one, you're very easily distracted. Number two, you get angry over the smallest things. Stupid phone, why you not wanna work? <laughs> Number three, you're very, very forgetful. Wait, what was I talking about again? Huh? Number four, you're always losing things. Mom, do you have my wallet? And lastly, number five, you hyper focus on anything new. Oh, this is cool. Things you didn't realize could be ADHD. brain-based symptoms in ADHD as we see it in women. For the inattentive subtype, symptoms include the inability to accurately predict how long a task may take, difficulty speaking in an organized way, so it's hard to get your thoughts and your feelings out in a comprehensive sentence. Women have difficulty cooking and shopping, and this is reinforced by societal norms, which expect a woman to be able to do these tasks without question. Difficulty keeping things organized, having a messy car, difficulty keeping up with small talk, having fatigue from a normal schedule, feeling easily stimulated in stores or crowds, difficulty staying on top of daily tasks, keeping belongings organized in your house for yourself or others, repeatedly needing instructions, trouble staying attentive during phone calls, easily overloaded by too much conversation and needing time to recover. Got more questions on ADHD? Let me know in the comments. What is actually like having ADHD? They don't stop, ever. And if we can't do either of those two things, we fidget. And if teachers tell us that we can't fidget in class, we get angry! If all of these things keep happening to you regularly, it may be time for you to get diagnosed for ADHD. You can do that with done right here. Uh, you know how people are like, stop posting shit about, you know, if you have this, you have ADHD. Well, anyway, I was so convinced that I had ADHD, right? Because of all these TikToks. So I went to my GP and I was like, I think I have ADHD. And anyway, he gets me a referral to a psychiatrist. It's an hour and a half long appointment. You have to go through from literally your That's mother's cool pregnancy with you, to, like through all of your schooling and this and that, and up until current present day. He confirmed I have a lot of trauma, which I already knew that obviously. Um, I already see a psychologist uh, once a week because I'm healing. Um, anyway, uh, I have a diagnosis of ADHD and a bill for $650. And if it wasn't for TikTok, I would not have known. So you either eat nothing or you eat way too much. Yep. 
You either do like 30 things at the same time or you do nothing. Yeah. You either talk too much or you don't talk at all. Yes, sir. You either don't care about anything or you care way too much about everything. Pretty much, yeah. You either don't sleep or you sleep too much. Mm -hmm. You're either overstimulated or understimulated. Yes. You either have the best self-confidence or you hate yourself. Wow, I mean, yeah. And we're either going to post this video or completely ditch the idea and restart. That's exactly right.